So this is a Minute Moog, M-I-N-I-T-M-O-O-G, not a Mini Moog. And let's see, so Z, you said that before it stopped working, it was making some sound? Yeah, it was sort of making a... So you would say it was, even when it was making sound, it didn't seem to be operating in a proper fashion? No, no discernible musical tones or anything, no. Okay, but then it suddenly stopped making noise? Yeah. Hmm, all right. Okay, and IC2 is supposed to have 9 volts on it. Um, let's now measure from pin 4 of that chip to ground. That should be minus 18. Uh, pin 4, you said? One, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, to ground. Oh, wait, that's minus 5? Wait, uh, my red lead is on 4 and my black is on the ground. Oh, maybe something's suspect with our negative supply. Okay, so here it says that 18 volts goes into this IC1, and my son is currently measuring around 16 volts on it. So I'm not sure if that's enough. Actually, and take your black lead and put it on the chassis here. Let's just make sure it's doing what I think it's doing. Yeah, okay, so... That makes sense. Earlier, my son had the black lead on pin seven here. So that is ground and this is a decent ground. Okay, so go ahead and measure that again. So the question is, is 16 volts good enough? Okay, on IC13, measure pin seven to ground. Uh, four, five, six, seven to ground. Okay, so that's measuring nine. And now on IC13, measure pin 4 to ground. Okay, so we're reading something like minus 5 volts, and I think that should be a minus 18 volts. I think our negative supply is mussed up. Okay, let's see what's going on with the filter caps. Okay, I first want to test the positive supply again. So measure the white stripe part of D2. That reads 15.65. Okay, now measure the white stripe part of D4. 15.67. Uh, okay, now measure the non-white stripe part of D1. Negative 5.18. Oh, what about the non-white stripe part of D3? Non-white stripe part of D3 is negative 5.2. Oh, okay, so is the transformer bad? Or is this cap problematic? Let's get it on the scope. Okay, so we're measuring the positive unregulated supply now. We've got 16 volts. I think this is supposed to be 18. We have a peak-to-peak -peak measurement here of 1.6 volts. And maybe this capacitor could be working better. But now let's check the negative supply. That looks not good. So this is giving us a mean of minus five something, and we're getting a peak-to-peak -peak voltage of 2.4 volts. So I suspect that that capacitor is dodgy. Uh, I think the diodes are probably okay. Uh, well, let me put it this way. It's more likely that the capacitor is having trouble filtering things. C1. So I'll ask the internet. Is it most likely that C1 is the problem? Or do you think these diodes are also going to need replaced? Or do you think there may be a problem with the transformer? My first thought is that this capacitor is dodgy.